which on Johnny Storm is one of the brightest stores over in the United Kingdom. Some say he possesses a style similar to former United Kingdom legends Dynamite Kid and the late Davy Boy Smith. Storm is being picked by the Kingdom, John, as being the favorite to win the entire best of the best. Oh, I don't think so, Eric. I don't think so. The Wonder Kid Johnny Storm, how apropos that he finds himself in round number one with his biggest rival, Jody Fleisch, the Phoenix. And don't forget, Mr. Unbreakable himself, Johnny Cashmere. Absolutely. Oh, and he is unbreakable, Eric. Finally, Cashmere can participate legally in the tournament. About time. Phoenix, Jody Fleisch, is one of the two representatives, of course, along with Johnny Stewart from the United Kingdom. He hopes to show everybody here tonight why he is considered the best unknown junior heavyweight of professional wrestling. Hey, Eric, if they're from England, how far they can't speak English? Think it's speak ah. What the hell are you talking about? Are, are you, you crazy? crazy? How are you doing? They said no company. Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Have you been drinking? They said no company. Are you back with a bottle? And he's your boy. Fine. Why don't you take it? How does Mr. Unbreakable Eric? You know what? He, he's gonna win it all tonight, Eric. You pick wait, you pick Dyson, you pick Burke, and now you're picking Cash. I never picked Nick Burke. Of course, Johnny Cashmere finishes out the brackets here tonight. If Cashmere wins all of his matches, and Trent Aston wins all of his matches, they will wrestle each other in the final match of the tournament. Ah, what a match that would be! It'll be legal this time. They wrestled each other last year. This is the first time that Cashmere has participated legally in the best of the best tournament. And then no matter what, Eric, CZW wins! The best of the best stays here! We already saw Cashmere stick his nose in acid match earlier on tonight, costing Gabrielle the victory. Gabrielle the Lost Boys possibly could have won the match a bit back for Cashmere. I mean, come on, Eric, let's face it. He is unbreakable. And he's miserable. Look at him. Does he ever smile with the exception of looking in the mirror? He is just one miserable man. He's not miserable, Eric. He's a little bit disturbed. And how about the United Kingdom here? The United, the, did it him. the United Kingdom has both representatives in round one. The chances of one of them advancing to the second round is 100%. One of them's going to go on. Maybe it'll be both of them. What happens if Johnny Cashmere pins both Johnny Storm and Jody Flesh? Does that mean that we have no more representatives in the United Kingdom? What are these fans saying to Johnny Cashmere, Eric? That's more important. I guess they're showing their love and appreciation for the former tag team champion and former Finch Japan junior heavyweight champion. Johnny Cashmere, of course, most of his success in combat zone wrestling has come as a tag team wrestler, the most decorated in our company. Jody Fleisch, you want to talk about agile, you want to talk about a man experienced in junior heavyweight action, he is a regular in Michinoku Pro Wrestling. You could oh. say, you could say, John, that he is even a representative from Japan in this matchup. Jody Fleisch and Johnny Storm, the double team and Johnny Cashmere. Johnny Storm, you gotta be kidding me. Comes over the top rope, holds that rope with that senton. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? Oh, Jody Fleisch, he's lethal from anywhere in this matchup. Oh, no. Jody Fleisch hits oh, the rope. No. Springs up, goes to the floor, no thinks oh, twice. Does. Johnny Cashmere, leap frog up. Johnny Storm, big oh, forearm. Nine Cashmere's house storm. Jump, bam! Johnny Cashmere, the last representative of combat zone wrestling in this tournament. Ah, that's what they get for double teaming, Johnny Cashmere. Jordy Fleisch and Johnny Storm. How about Jordy Fleisch and Johnny Storm? How'd they like to walk into the parliament on Monday morning with the best of the best cup and show it to Queen Elizabeth? Now they might get kicked out of England, Eric, if they do that. Big clothesline. He's a lucky to the Queen. God save the Queen. Fleisch
Anderson, Storm now going at it. Picking up where they left off the United Kingdom. I wrestled each other many times over their traded victories. I mean, as, come on, Eric. That's for the Gory Guerrero special. They're an embarrassment to England, Eric. They can't even speak English, for God's sake. What are you talking about? Are you nuts? Oh, oh Breaker. Johnny Cash is going upstairs. Has him in position for a vertebra breaker. No, holds him up. Oh, oh. splash. Cashmere may have cracked a rib. Cashmere, the crafty veteran, the psychological genius. He may act crazy, but some question whether he is crazy or if it's just an act. If he is just trying to gain one up on his opponent. Johnny Cashmere, of course, remember, here comes Jody Fleisch. Jody Fleisch from behind. The big chop. Jody Fleisch and Johnny Storm. Double teaming Johnny Cashmere. <laughs> Look at the agility! That's quite a reversal there from the former World Tag Team Champion. Storms him! Storms him! Storms him! That's what I'm talking about, Eric! You know what I mean? And you know that Lobo doesn't want to see Johnny Cashmere win this tournament. He doesn't like either one of the backseat boys. He don't like you either! And you're here! Yakuza kick! Johnny Storm now finds himself in the ring with Johnny Cashmere. Cashmere has dominated this matchup. Tope! Right into the guardrail. And Kashmir is possessed. Kashmir is not going to stop. Oh! oh. Five. Did you see his head bounce off the concrete? Absolutely. I can't believe he's back up. Johnny Kashmir going on pure adrenaline right now. I can feel it. The back of my head is tingling. Ha-ha! <laughs> he holds you, Eric. He is unbreakable. He truly is. Wait a minute. Here comes Gabriel with a chair. Chair! Chair to the back. And he's Wait all over right Kashmir. He's all over Kashmir. What's she doing out here? It's a he. We got the last boy in there with the backseat boy. And Logan's going to let this go on. This is payback for a seat for what happened earlier tonight. All right, this is not fair. It's 3 on 1. And a metal chair. This is a receipt. This is a receipt, pure and simple. I look at Kashmir. Kashmir sets it. Kashmir right now has the bat. Has the bat in his hand. Swing and a miss. <laughs> yes, excuse me. <laughs> Again, that's what you get for messing with Johnny Cash. Now he grabs him up. Cradle breaker, cradle breaker. How ironic is it that Cashmere finds himself in the receiving end of interference in his own match? Victory roll, oh. victory roll. No. Oh, damn. He's, out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's This is not good, Eric. And Johnny Cashmere, who has interfered consistently the last two years in best of the best, finds himself a loser due to interference. John, it was easy. He was going to win that matchup. He had that match won before Gabrielle came in and interfered. And look at Storm just mocking Cashmere. Uh oh I don't think Mr. Unbreakable likes that very much. This isn't the United Kingdom. This is the house of Kashmir. Uh oh This is the house that he runs now. He is a tenant here. And Storm goes over the top. Kashmir is both tenant and landlord here tonight at best of the best. And look, Eric, he's still not broken. He may have won that matchup. John, he was dominant in that matchup. But in the next round, we're going to see the Phoenix Jody Fleisch go one-on-one -on -one with the wonder kid Johnny Storm. Should be tremendous.